Uh, my paper is on assessment of risk factors for dry eye disease among doctors during COVID-19 pandemic and online survey in South India. Uh, apart from the usual risk factors, the usage of face mask along with an increase in screen time could aggravate or lead to dry eye symptoms. And since the healthcare professionals were amongst those who had to spend more time wearing face masks during work, we plan to assess the prevalence of dry eye among doctors and the risk factors associated with it. A semi-structured pre-tested questionnaire was provided to all the participants using Google Forms. The survey had the following sections on demographic data, systemic illness, eye disease, any medications used, workplace, type of mask, duration of mask wear, whether they had taped the uh, mask over the nose, and uh, increase in uh, duration of screen time, and McMoney's questionnaire and OSTI questionnaire. Uh, we had 209 participants and the maximum participants were general physicians. 14.4% of participants were already diagnosed as dry eye disease before COVID. 31.1% of participants had an increase of two to four hours of screen time during the pandemic. The increase in screen time was uh, due to uh, entertainment or academic activities, including research. N95 mask was the most uh, commonly used type of mask, probably because the survey was done among doctors, and the duration of mask wear was more than 6 hours in 61.7%. 92.3% of the doctors did not tape the mask over the nose, and air leak from nose to eye was experienced by 31.6% of the participants. The median McMoney score was 7, ranging from 0 to 24, median OSTI was 6.25, ranging from 0 to 66.7, and the MQ score and OSTI had a positive correlation, with the p-value being significant, less than 0.001. Based on McMoney's, 12% participants had dry eye disease. Based on OSTI, 30.6% participants had dry eye disease, with 14.8% having mild, 9.1% having moderate, and 6.7% having severe dry eye disease. A uh, logistic regression analysis based on OSDI score showed that presence of air leak from mask to the eye increased the odds of uh, having dry eye disease by 2.2 times, the p-value being 0.02. And the uh, history of previous history of dry eye disease uh, uh, increased the odds of having worsening of symptoms by 2 to 2.3 times, the p-value being 0.04. So this study shows an association between ill-fitting face mask and dry eye disease. With the air escape through the mask to the eye, it can cause uh, increased tear evaporation and hence uh, tear film instability, which could lead to the inflammation and dry eye symptoms. This was supported by Mustafa et al. in his study. And our study also showed that persons already suffering from dry eye disease had worsening of symptoms, which was supported by Areola et al. in his study. So with the vaccine and waning of COVID-19, the use of face masks among doctors is likely to be the norm. Hence, dry eye, dry eye dryness, irritation, visual symptoms uh, may become a problem for a larger percentage of face mask users. Hence, we recommend taping of mask on the upper portion of the mask onto the nose to prevent the air leak to the eye, which can cause or aggravate dry eye disease. Uh, we also recommend taking frequent breaks whenever feasible and advocate the use of lubricants in people experiencing dry eye symptoms. So to conclude, there is a higher rate of prevalence of dry eye disease among doctors wearing ill-fitting masks, causing air leakage from nose to the eye, and also dry eye seems to worsen in people with prior history of dry eye disease. Since taping of the mask is, is a very a simple and modifiable factor, we can uh, recommend this, and we as ophthalmologists have the responsibility to raise awareness and educate people on the technique of correct technique of wearing masks to avoid mask-associated dry eyes. Thank you. So this is about, sorry, uh, so uh, uh, the conclusion you said this is the mask related dry eye. Mask so, so the purpose was to show the improper wearing of mask yeah. causing the dry eye. secondary dry eye, not COVID-19 causing, no, no, no. okay, because the title was such that so I the thought, assessment of risk factors, so we took into account the mask wear as well as the increased screen time. Screen time. Actually, the study uh, we did in 2020, so when we first started using face mask, I was experiencing that uh, yes. that air leak and also then I we did this study and uh, all the mode of uh, uh, classes, lectures, I'm in a medical college, so everything was uh, switched on to online mode. So we thought we should study how this is increasing the dry eye, hence we did this. So apart from you know, the evaluation of dry eye, apart from OSDI and the scores, was there what all evaluation uh, did you carry out when you were carrying out the dry eye, uh, assessing the dry eye and the severity of the dry eye? Only the OS, is this based on OSDI scores? It's, it's based on OSDI scores. Mainly based on OSDI, OSDI scores. Score. Okay. Only, only OSDI. Yeah, the regression analysis, everything was done based on OSDI scores. 
And this questionnaire was directly taken or it was modified? The OSDI was not modified, sir. We added our uh, questions like uh, the amount of uh, duration of face mask, where uh, the taping of the face mask, all that we added the questions. But OSDI, we did not modify. It was asked. Right. What could be the possible uh, postulation for like getting um, less dry eye with N95? Uh, N95, uh, our study had uh, most of them wearing N95. Probably we conducted this only among doctors. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um, so you also talked about that whether the, uh, what the screen time was related and you know what they were doing and depending on that, this redness of dry eye. Can we have a look at the questionnaire? If you have that, the questionnaire that was provided to the doctors, what all questions did you ask them regarding the use of the mask as well as the screen time or the how did you, I, I, what I'm trying to get at is how did you assess the screen time, right? A screen time we had actually divided into less than two hours increase in a screen time apart from their usual one. So pre-COVID, uh, like we asked how many hours do you usually spend and during this COVID, what is the increase in screen time? So less than two hours, two to four hours, four to six hours, more than six hours. But uh, in our study, we did not find any correlation with the screen time or the duration of face mask. Oh. Next. 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 All right.